Hello, everybody. Supposed to be playing. Uh, oh shit. Hello, everybody. We're gonna be showing you how to play Barony Wicked Rendition with the server. Right now, the original developer of this mod says that you could not play multiplayer of this mod without Steam. You have to have the Steam version, and when you're playing with us, you have to have the Steam version. That is actually not true. You could play this with literally any version. Right, you can use any version and you could play it. Right, so this is exactly how you do it. Alright, so here's the first thing you want to do. I do this every time when I'm port forwarding and I want to start a server to game, I do this. I do this every time. Sometimes it creates the ports automatically when you download the game. Right, but here's what you want to do. Usually they create these, right, when you start the game, but I just made my own because uh, it's always nice to make your own. And if you don't have them, then it doesn't work. So it's better be safe than sorry. So the first thing you want to do is you make new rule, then you click port. Always want to click port if you're in port forwarding because you're making ports. Click keep TCP on and then uh, the ports of the game. Now the ports of the game are 25565. They're the same as Minecraft. All right? Do that. You allow the connection. You don't work, don't worry about that. And then I like to name it Barony TCP, so that I know what ports are which. Then you do the exact same thing, literally exact, except this time you click UDP. Same thing. Two five five six five. Allow connection. And then this time you do, I just call it Barony UDP. All right. So I'm actually going to delete these because I already have them. So after you do that, you can just close out of that. And then you've got the first step down. I'll show you a second step. Next thing you want to do is you want to open up your CMD. How do you do that? You hold Windows and R and boom, opens this. Just type in CMD. Boom, you get this baby open. Then you put IP config. Now, when you write IP config, you're looking for this D default gateway. And when you look at default gateway, you're going to look at the numbers right over here. So you get these numbers, copy and paste them into Google, right? Or whatever browser you use. I like to use Brave. You copy and paste that, and boom, it'll open up a sign in most likely. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description, the common sign-ins for your router, because uh, usually the routers have a default one that are really simple, like admin, I keep mine admin, and then my password, I changed it, but usually they're very simple, like admin password or admin admin, you know, very simple stuff. So if you haven't changed the, wi the username and password of your router, then it should just be that. Right, so you're gonna want to go into advanced setup and port forwarding if you have my router, but you usually you probably won't have that, and you'll probably need to find port forwarding and stuff inside your router somewhere. But when you get there, the steps are the same. You'd want to create your own service, create your own ports, and then you'd write uh, Barony. Let's say that now. Then you'd put TCP and UDP. If you cannot do both, then it doesn't matter. You could just do one, make one port, and then do the other, and make the other port. Just make two of them. So, and the ports, same thing as before, 25565, and then 25565. And then here's uh, the internal IP address. Th what this is, is your IP4 address. So if you go back to your CMD, and you type one IP config, then you're gonna get your IP4 address. With your IP4 address, you'll get a, you just look over here, and then you type the numbers it tells you to type. So I type for, uh, 45 right here. Oops. Then I'd create and apply. Then I'd have my service right here. So I already did this before. And actually, the ports are the same for Minecraft and Barony, so you could just use the same. So I'm actually going to delete these two because I 
you did it. So after that, you should have your porch. You have your porch done, and this is and this is the last step for. Uh, there's one more last step before you can actually play with your friends. To play with your friends. So this is the last step to play with your friends. You're gonna want to host a multiplayer game, right? Get the porch right two five five six five and host it, right? And then your friends join like this. Remember this because if they join incorrectly, then this will actually crash their game because it's really annoying, but it happens. So this is how they do it. They click join game, address and port. What does that mean? Let me explain. It's asking for your public IP, right? This isn't my public IP, this is just a uh, random IP, and then it's asking for ports. So here's an example, public IP and then ports. Now, how do you get your public IP? You just go over to like Bing, you search up like, what's my IP? And then it should say your public IP address, and then it'll give you a smaller number. Now, if it goes up really far, uh, I'll make a second video on that because it's kind of weird to explain. But if it goes up really, really far ahead, then I wouldn't use it. Usually it should be pretty small. So you put your public IP as an example. I just put like 7 2 of a random numbers. This would be my public IP. You put here's the ports. And then this is how you'd write it public IP bracket ports or colon ports. So this is how you do it. Here's, an ex here's how you would actually do it if this was your IP. This would be your IP. Then you'd put colon. Then you port the port to the game, 25565. And then you'd copy and paste that into here, and then you'd be able to join the game. Or your friends would be able to join you. Right? Now, that's how you do it. Now, you can use this tutorial to, uh, to port forward for most games. Right? Yeah. The way you actually join the game in each game is a bit different, and the ports of every game are different. But if you search up something like, what are the ports for this game, right? You can play the game easy. You can port for for the game easy. Just do the firewall, do the uh, router port forwarding, right? And then you'd be able to do it. I did that. I did this game. All I had did was search up the ports, and I searched up how what like what it meant when it asks. Uh, IP4 address, I know my public IP and ports, and then boom, I got it in. But this isn't very, uh, I noticed that the developer, the mod itself, said that you cannot play multiplayer with this right here. It's compatible. Oh, hold up, let me see. Does not include crossplay to any platform. You can't play multiplayer. This is wrong. I played multiplayer with my pal. I'm gonna actually send a comment in here, and I'm gonna tell y'all. So if you guys come from that area, then leave a comment down below, and I'll be make sure to make another one. You I even made two servers for like Septech Ages Forever Stranding. Tell me in the comments if you guys want to, if you want me to make a tutorial how to make servers for Minecraft. We could do that, right? See you.